Welcome to Ross Age Stadium, home to the Purdue Boilermakers here in West Lafayette, Indiana, and they have been ready to go boiler up since early this morning. This matchup today, part of the lifeblood of the sport, a rivalry game where the results will be remembered for a lifetime. As we'll see a squad from the Big Ten, the Indiana Hoosiers, taking on a fellow Big Ten foe, the Purdue Boilermakers. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. will kick it away to start us off. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. So the Indiana Hoosiers offense will have the first possession of the game. It is mostly the hardwood that's part of the sporting lore in the Hoosier State, but when these two square off like they're about to do, it's all about the old oak and bucket. It's all about the old oak and bucket, is right. You get that trophy at the end of the game, and you get to hold it up. And, you... and they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. The screen, by definition, is slow developing. That was just a little too slow. Yeah, quarterback just held on to it a split second too long. You want to invite the rush to you as a quarterback when you're executing that play, but you've got to be able to get rid of it. You've got to be able to negotiate the rush and somehow, some way, find a way to get that receiver or running back the ball in his hands. That pass is well off target. He got hit as he was trying to throw, and they can't convert on third down. He'll try to field the punt and bring it back. That's a perfect example of not settling for a fair catch. Pick up whatever yardage you can and help out the offense. So Purdue's offense will try to get something going with their first possession. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, then they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt. they got to show up. Th these are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. Back to throw. It's Carr. He looks that one in nicely. They get him down after he makes the catch. The school known for astronauts, Purdue was in its own orbit, in its own universe the last time, and they destroyed Indiana. And it was an astronomical butler. Like, they took care of business. They made sure there was no doubt, and they continued to dominate this series. It was a statement delivered, and the message is loud and clear. Indiana knows they cannot sleepwalk coming into this game. The run from the shotgun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Listen, I know there are a lot of DBs out there that all they want to do is get interceptions and dance in the end zone. This dude likes to put his face in the fan, get close to the line of scrimmage, and tackle. And on the opening drive that he's out there, he gets a huge tackle for loss early. That is a statement play. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down mark. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. They'll run for it on third and short. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. This would likely be a chip shot for the field goal kicker, but they want the touchdown instead. They'll go for it on fourth down. They stop him short of the marker, and they'll turn it over on down. I think sometimes you can overthink things a little bit as a play caller. And on fourth down, I know you've got a receiver who's really fast, and you're trying to get him the football and see if he can get to the perimeter of the field. But the defense was waiting. That was maybe a little bit too obvious. And I think you can put that fourth down fail on the play call. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Catch in the middle. It's Ellison. And he'll move his way forward to the first down. They'll mark it at the 35. As a quarterback, I used to love throwing to running backs that could run great routes. That was a good one there on the angle route. He sold it like he was running to the flat, put his foot to the ground, cut back inside, crossed the defender's face, made it an easy throw and an easy first down. Let me tell you, this senior quarterback can flat fit it in a tight window. Looking to pass, it's Roar. 
And that's a mistake you don't expect to see from a senior, and he is lucky to get it back. And the incompletion brings up a second down for this offense. They'll try the run. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. This rivalry dates back to 1891, and you want to know how important the old oaken bucket is? When Lee Corso won it for the first time, he slept with the bucket. There are NFL players that don't sleep with the Lombardi trophy, so that just shows you how important this trophy is to these two teams. Well, it shows you how awesome Lee Corso is, too, because he's also the guy that, when he had a lead, called a timeout, brought all of his players on the field, and took a picture in front of it saying Indiana was beating Ohio State. Out of the gun, the give to the back. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. And now on second down for this offense. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Touch pass on the run. Sweet cut there. He's run out of bounds, but he's got enough to move the sticks. Ball marked at the 26. It's first and 10. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Moving out of the pocket. And he tries to get away, but he cannot. He's taken down. He'll lose a couple. He tried to go play action, but that did not affect the defensive tackle. He was bull rushing his guy, collapsing the pocket. He comes away with a sack. Getting some heat. And here comes the pressure, and there he goes down again. This defense, they are tenacious, and they've got guys up front that are athletic and that are so strong and then can collapse the pocket. You saw it right there in that play action attempt. They're trying to get to it. Got his man in the middle. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. And the field goal unit is on the field. The holder will kneel down at the 29, making it a 39-yard attempt. It's good. He could have hit a string right in the middle of the uprights there. And wait a second. There's a flag on the field. Let's check that one out. You must protect the kicker when he's in a defenseless position like that. That penalty's going to give the offense a first down. The defense in a most benevolent move, giving the offense a new set of downs. Going for six. And good coverage and better hands by the defender to knock it down in the end zone. After the incompletion, looking at second down. Give to the back. Works his way ahead for about three. It's down at the eight. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down. They can't pick up the first without scoring. Looking to throw. It's card. And the ball comes out. What a disastrous play. And the defense has got it. And they're trying to pick up some yards. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. Off the play fake on first down. Going over the top. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge game in his fingers, and he couldn't hold on. Final play of the quarter coming. On second down, looking to throw. This time on target. They make the stop, and that's how the first quarter will end. We're through one period, and these receivers are showing out big time. Take a look at the stats. Let's see if the offenses can find a little rhythm here in the second. A third down play to open up this quarter. Looking to throw for it. Caught. Close to the marker. It's McCulley. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. And the Hoosiers have it with a first and ten. They'll put the tight end in motion. Off play action on first down. Slings it downfield. He throws back across his body, and it's picked off. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. That is a huge no. You can't roll to your left and try to throw that football 
all the way across the field. You're not going to get away with it very often. And you're definitely not going to get away with it at this level. When you're in Little League, sure, you could get away with it. College, these guys are too fast, too athletic, and you see them break on the ball and make the interception. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. The give to the running back from the shotgun. He tried to find some running room, but they get him stopped. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. Throws to the wideout. Oh, what a grab by the defense. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. And this ball looks like it just got away from the quarterback. I think he made the right decision. He was going to the receiver that seemed open, but just not very accurate on the throw, and that leads to the interception. Really nice pickup on that one as they get it to the 36. It'll be first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They're getting this guy lathered up. Had to work to pick up three down to the 33-yard line. Sticking to the run. I tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football. You can tell. You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered up. It's incomplete, but here comes the flag, and I think it's going to be a first down. Defense. Defense. And the defender just way too handsy on that last play. You could see all the contact as the ball was in the air. He simply can't do it, and the referee's caught. Three yards, first down for the offense after that penalty. The give out of the gun. And a nice job by the running back, finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. In the red area, it's black. Fights his way ahead. They get him down after a pickup of three. They'll mark it at the 12. Well, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. Direct snap. Running with power. Defense is there to make the stop, but he's got the first down, and they'll have it first and goal with the six. The Hoosiers are on the move. With the run on first and goal. He pushes his way down to the four as they get closer and closer. Second and goal for the offense. They'll switch it up here and look to throw. He's got it. And to the end zone. Touchdown, Hoosiers! And what a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. And the extra point makes it 7-0. So that drive covered 40 yards. And they capped the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. And he takes this from inside the five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Purdue offense heads back out to the field. One of the most valuable things a quarterback can have, David, short-term memory. Just forget that last pick. You're dang right. Clear the mechanism. Going for the big play. Oh, he's playing with fire, and he's picked off. And after the interception and the turnover, this defense has set its offense up for business. Line gets set, first down. Looking downfield, it's Rourke. Tight end finds a soft spot. And that was some kind of collision between a couple of big bodies there, and he stopped from getting the first down. From the gun, the running back has it. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. This offense has to get this guy the ball in as many ways as possible. He showed you all of his tools on that last play. To the air on first down. Snagged in the middle. It's Ellison. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. And the Hoosiers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Looking to go up top on first down. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. 
Quick timeout from the offense to save precious seconds. And after the incompletion on first down, this offense looking at second down. Catch in the middle. It's Ellison. Afterburner's coming. And they were looking for a chunk play, and they got it. The explosive. He picks up more than 30. I know it's early in the game, but defensively after that play, you know you have to tackle the catch. When this guy gets the ball in his hands, he is so dangerous after the fact. So it's okay for him to make catches. You just got to get him to the ground quick. Defense is about energy. It's about passion. It's about physicality. They need a little bit more of that. Get the guy in the ground. You can't let guys break tackles. What could have been set up in a long yard situation now becomes an easier situation because you can get him on the ground. Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. Only able to pick up a yard before he stopped, and now it's fourth and three. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. The offense failed to convert on fourth down earlier, but that didn't change their thinking here. Let's it fly. Reels it in in the end zone. Touchdown, Indiana. And it's so underrated, the, the relationship between a QB and a wide receiver, the timing, the ability to know where he's going to be and be accurate with the football, that's what leads to nice touchdowns, Jesse. Well, and the chemistry between these two guys has to be great when you're throwing in the end zone because coverage is going to be tight. The throw might not be perfect, but this is something these two guys have been repping in practice over and over and over, and it's paying dividends now in game. He'll bring it out. It's Smith. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Boilermakers have it back, and here comes the offense. So late in the half, this is really an opportunity, David, maybe to swing the momentum in their favor. Dang right. There's no time to be conservative. We're a little bit down. Listen, I just think this is a point with the offense that they can prove. Like, we're here. We're going to create something now that we can build on in the second half. Coach said all week he wanted to be aggressive. This is great. And that is interception number three on the day. Just a small return, but a big play as they have it now at the 45. First down here for the offense. He'll start this drive firing. Incomplete. Man, is he lucky to get that one back defense that close to an interception. Now on second down. Back to pass. It's Roark. They're bringing heat. At the 45 on his way. Lots of green grass as he gets it to the 31. He can throw it. He can buy time. He can run it. What, what can't he do? This guy's so talented. When he does stuff like this, there's no way to stop it. There's no way to coach a defense up against this. He's just really fast, and I can't catch him. Well, you're making a positive out of a negative. And that time, quarterback, nice job, buying time. He's trying to throw the football downfield. Nothing there, so instead of throwing it away, getting the incomplete, just get what you can get and make this next down more manageable. The pass falls incomplete, and there are eight seconds left. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. They'll throw on third and short. Going for it all. And makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Hoosiers! One of the areas they really focused on with this receiver in the offseason was we need you to make more plays for us in the end zone. We're taking shots. We need you to be able to step up and make tough catches. And David, what a grab right there. And I think a lot of that has to do with trusting your guy, knowing where he's going to be, knowing when he's going to sit down, when he's not. So being on the same page and then having a guy that can go get it. Just when the ball is near him, he's going to make the play just like he did right there for six points. And you make the stop, and that is the end of the first half. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, from West Lafayette to Bloomington, there are some feisty folks and some emotional fan bases in this always contentious battle between the Hoosiers and Boilermakers. It's been a fun start to this one, and this offense has really been the story. They've opened up a sizable lead, and unless something drastic changes, things might get even more out of hand. 
a combination of lethal efficiency, and that offensive line has been the key. They've mauled that defense and also just about broken their will. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how the fight between Purdue and Indiana plays out. All right, Kevin about ready to get things cranked back up here. The Hoosiers will try to kick this one deep to get things underway in the second half. On the move from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. The Purdue offense heads back out to the field. They come into this third quarter with a lot of work they need to get done. Yeah, and it starts with this possession. And, and I'm, I'm going piece by piece, and all this is coach speak and very simple. I score. I get a game. score. I can get back in this game, but it's got to be one drive at a time. It's going to have to be, but I think the mindset offensively is we're probably going to have to score every time we get it because our defense has been struggling. They have not been getting a lot of stops, so this is a critical drive here for this offense. And the defense finally makes the stop after the... You're down, obviously, at the half. You had a conversation. we got to come out and put points on the board, and Jesse, it looks like they're going to start with the ground game. And I love this, David, too. Regardless of whether they're losing or they're winning, come out here and try to be the most physical unit here in the second half. Get this run game established. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. He's got it. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. Looking to throw its card. Fires to the tight end. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. Makes a grab over the middle. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Zings it complete to the right. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. After losing a couple of yards, it's now second and 12 as they try to keep this drive moving. Just a little off. Incomplete. This will be the eighth play of the drive, but a great opportunity for the defense to get off the field. They keep attacking through the air. Looking to the end zone. Can't make the grab as he was looking for his man right at the goal line. He'll have to settle for a field goal attempt. He'll line it up from the right side. A 37-yarder coming up. He splits the uprights and puts three on the board. So they were able to put up a three spot on that last drive. And now the kickoff team out there as they prepare to put boot to leather. Returner is going to try to see what he can get. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Indiana sends the offense onto the field. This has been exactly the way you draw things up, David. The offense has really been moving the football. And it's been great execution. They've done exactly what they wanted to do, build the lead. Now Palmer's a different animal. Now you got to protect him. You can tell they were paying attention in practice this week in the film room because they have gone out, everybody right now on the same page. Pressure coming. Still on his feet at the 45. They finally make the stop, but the big run is plenty to move those sticks for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Wide open downfield. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. This coaching staff has really done a nice job marrying the play-action game to their running game. That looked like that was going to be a run. Everything in that play said they're running the ball downhill. At the last second, quarterback pulled the football. He was able to complete the throw. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run. Then you open it up for the passing game. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can't pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. He wants.
Hands it off. Touchdown, Indiana. And the pummeling has started. Indiana. The Hoosiers are taking control of this game against the Boilers. IU speeding away now. You can feel the momentum shifting towards Indiana's sideline. Personal Purdue's got to do something. Got to get some of that back. Oh, they can feel the bucket in their hands already. The rivalry game. They've done a great job handling their emotion, taking the lead. Now they just got to finish. The kickoff team out there to boot it away and 15 yards farther up the field after the roughing the kicker penalty. This will not be returnable as it sails out of the back of the end zone. Here comes the offense on first down. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. It's complete on the right side. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. After that last completion, it's second down. Out of the gun, the inside kick. At the 45 on his way. And they get him down at the 43, but this is the kind of explosive play you want to build on. After picking up this first down on the ground, let's see what they do. To the ground, he's got it again. And a decent game there before the defense makes a stop. I think one of the hardest things to do is stick to the run when it's not working. But it's those runs right there the reason why you have to do it, right? You can't get too one-dimensional. Keep slipping those runs in there. Keep getting a little bit of positive yards. Next thing you know, you look up and you might break one of those after you got them a little bit tighter. Line is set on third down. They'll try to get the first through the air. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. He's got it, and they convert. And he motors into the end zone. Touchdown, Purdue! Play looked a little bit too easy. Fourth down, big situation. You gotta get up on these receivers and make it difficult. He gets the football right away, gets all the way to the end zone for the touchdown. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Looks like he's going to try to return it. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Indiana has the ball back, and the Hoosier offense comes out ready to go. Looking for a productive play on first down. That keeps the running game churning. Pick up a five to the 23. It's the MO of this offense, and they really put a lot on the offensive line to go out and really try and establish their dominance and their assertiveness, and they've done a good job of that early in this game running the football. And he gets it to the 44-yard line. It'll be a first down. This offense is like running a perfection drill in practice against air. Chunk play after chunk play. And here they come again. Can't hold on. He had it right down the middle, and he flat dropped it. Let's see what they've got on second down. Back to throw. It's Rourke. Quarterback adapted. He's going to take off. A pickup of eight now to convert this third and two. Trying to pick up a first down. He'll throw on third down. Got his man down the middle. Makes that one pay off, and they finally get him down at the 38. It'll be first down. Clock strike zero here in the quarter, and Indiana is on top. This has been utter domination through three quarters, and the stats will back that up. Just about ready to go in the fourth, and we'll see if any drama can be mustered. They'll break the seal on this quarter here on first down. Takes the handoff. It's Ellison. Across the 25, he's got room. Makes the stop at the 23-yard line, but it's a pickup of 15. A first down, and this offense is smelling the end zone. Right back to the well. Tackle is made right at the 20-yard line after a pickup of four. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. He's looking to throw. A strike downfield. Gets it inside the five, down to the four, and it'll be first and goal. 
The offense threatening. Close to the end zone now with a new set of downs. A first down run on the doorstep. Touchdown, Hoosiers! And the punishment has been extended. Now they've got a little breathing room. They are in firm control of this game, guys, but you never want to let up in a rivalry game. Because it only takes one play. We know how much of a factor momentum can be in these types of rivalry games, David, so this game's still far from over. And this is where my leadership and my experience comes into play. When you've got guys that have been through these fires, been through these rivalry games, you know the swings happen quick. Now you got to swing it back your way. Wide receiver shows motion. They'll start this drive with a pass. Dumps it to the back. Grab near the marker. It's McCoby. Able to work it to the 49-yard line, and that'll be a first down. Big play to start this drive. Now they'll snap it from the 39. Trying to find his man on first down. Grabbed over the middle. It's McCoby. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. Line getting set on second down. He's looking to throw. Good timing on the quick out. He's out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for the first down. The Boilermakers come to the line with a new set of downs. They're going to throw it again. Completes it in the middle. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. A new set of downs after the completion. He's looking to throw it. They'll run the screen. And the catch is one thing, and the run even better. A big pickup on that one. They'll snap it from the 25 here on first down. He's going to pass. Finds his man down the middle. And that is good versatility there, and a big hit from the backer in pass coverage. And the Boilermakers have taken it inside the 20. Wide out in motion. On the ground, it's McCoby. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. Play number seven on this drive, and it'll be third and two. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Didn't have much of a choice, just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. No signs of any kind of kicker as they'll lead the offense out there to try to move those chains. On fourth down, they'll try to throw it. Finds him out of the backfield. They didn't get a ton of yardage there, but they're really effective at using the back out of the backfield, and they do it to get the first down here. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. Makes the catch! And he's into the end zone! Touchdown, Boilermaker! One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. And if this quarterback gets through his progression, David, and hits you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running, I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy, the connection between quarterback and Wide receiver, you can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that play. They're down big, but they'll keep fighting to the bitter end and line up for the onside kick here. Looks as if the hands team will be able to recover the ball. Indiana sends the offense onto the field. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. you got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it on until they find an answer. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. It's third down now. They ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. Got it in the middle, it's Ellison. Gets it all the way down to the 39-yard line. It'll be a first down. New set of downs after that completion. They'll run it, they want to take their time here. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. The defense is about firing off, hitting the offensive guys and staying in gaps, everybody knowing where they're supposed to be. 
you could tell the defense, everyone was right where they're supposed to be, nowhere to run. Unloads to the wideout. And the pass is incomplete, charred loose by the hit. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Deep shot for the end zone. And swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. And they're running out the kicker to give it a try. He says he's got a big leg. He's going to have to show it from 56 yards out. Oh, and he missed it. No good. Well, the field goal didn't quite make it through, but still an 18-point game. The Boilermakers have it back, and here comes the offense. Not a lot to feel great about in this one, Jesse, but I'm sure they'll try to seek out some positives. Well, this might be an opportunity to just to go back when they watch this game and just find the plays and the schemes that were working. They weren't a lot, obviously, David, but maybe an opportunity for the coaching staff to condense the playbook. I was going to say, there's not a lot of good to go back to. That'd be a quick film session because there was more negatives than positives. But when you look at this, this week you've got a week to figure it out, figure out what your offense is going to be moving forward. Dropping back, it's Carr. Makes his connection. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. Second down coming up. He'll just keep slinging it. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to avoid the loss. Well, this guy must feel like he's run into a buzzsaw in this game. He has been under duress all game long, and that's a big reason why he's thrown multiple interceptions in the game, too. Nothing coming easy to him. It's hard to see the field when your internal clock is going off so fast because of the pressure of this defense, and that's why they find themselves down by so much here in the fourth. The offense will stay on the field and go for it on fourth down, two for three so far in this one. They stop him short of the marker, and they'll turn it over on down. Offensively, this is a beautiful time now because now I get to get all my other guys in the game. Guys that don't get to play that much, we're up. This game's over after that missed fourth down conversion. Now we need to get everybody in the ball game or choose Jesse Butler. Let's go pad some stats and get some more catches, get some more rush yards if that's your, if that's your thing. And the defense makes the stop after a minimal game. Lining up, trying to convert this third and short from the 40. They'll try to get it through the air. Fires to the wideout. And that pass intercepted. Knocked down quickly after the pick, but that offense says thank you very much, and they'll have it at the 43. Line gets set, first down. They're going to open this drive with a pass. Complete to the right. Nothing but green ahead. And the catch and run into the end zone. Touchdown, Purdue! And a nice touchdown. Continuing to fight, continuing to play. This one, it, it's pretty much over. Down multiple possessions this late in the football game. And it would take a miracle. A nice job by this offense. Continuing to fight, push the ball down the field, make plays. Not much drives more anxiety than waiting to see if the hands team can corral the onside kick, and they do. Offense set on first down. Trying to start the drive with a pass. Looking to the big tight end. Got his man! He's there to make the stop, but not before he sets up this offense first and goal from the seven. They'll get the timeout with five seconds timeout remaining to play. Okay. After this, it'll be a wrap. To the air, it's Rourke. Fires into the end zone. Touchdown, Indiana! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. Someone say run out the clock. Someone say I don't need to add points. But here's the thing. It's your job to stop them on defense. Now listen, the handshakes, they might get a little bit interesting after this game, but the offense did their job. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. 
And here we go. Final play of the game right here. They'll throw it on first down. Unloads to the wideout. Got him downfield. They'll bring him down as he bulks up those numbers, but not the most important one as they'll come up short in this game. No matter how much college football changes, realignment, all of that kind of stuff, rivalries are consistent, and winning rivalry games, well, that's just the best. Because they hate each other so much, so you take the field against your rival, you're able to put up forth a performance like that, that is worth its weight in gold, David. Unbelievable effort here by the winning team and bragging rights now, folks. Bragging rights for a while. It's, it's a fun thing to be able to accomplish. Now we also got to take in the next couple games because this is always there's a letdown that naturally happens after these big rivalry wins. We feel like our chest is poked out. We got to look on to the next game, focus in on this next one. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.